Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma Reviews. So I know it's been a while since I posted Christmas time. Um, I had quit my channel guys and I decided a lot of people was messaging me and saying don't quit, have a break and so forth. So I think what I'll probably do is if I can probably do two videos a month if that. I do have a few things that are coming. I do have my birthday coming up on the 10th of February. So if you guys want to see what I got for my birthday is pretty much me buying my own things this year just because I've asked for money and if I do get anything else then it will be for me to show but if you want to see that pop a comment on below and let me know and then I'll get that done for you sometime in February um, gives me a reason to come back in February and do you a video but today I'm going to be doing a beauty haul and the reason for this is I have had money for my birthday early so I can start getting things so it's here in time for my birthday. So I have got a few things that I bought for my birthday, a few things that I've bought before like early in the January sales and a few things that Ben's bought me, um, necessities, things that I needed. So way, way back in my channel as you know I did a lot of beauty, did a lot of um, subscription boxes and so forth and I did stop doing that because I was overwhelmed with a lot of beauty products and my plan then was to go and do who I am as a person which was the alternative as you can tell that's I've always had that alternative side so it, it's me in a nutshell but a beauty is a little part of me because I've worked in beauty um, and I kind of have a little bit of love of beauty but it took over and I got a little bit like ugh don't need to do no more beauty and I did a whole year of using up products guys and at Christmas I did a huge declutter I didn't film it I should have done because I got rid of a lot of stuff Pro pretty much probably about 25 to 30 palettes I just got rid of I give a lot to my girls for Christmas all brand new palettes that I've not opened and a lot of it I did sell the money went back into Christmas and so forth so let's get stuck in guys it's going to be a beauty haul a mixed beauty haul different companies and thank you to all the new subscribers welcome aboard I am an alternative channel don't be phased that there's beauty I'm just doing this as a gothic beauty haul I'll share it with those beauty people that are still on my um page so i'm still stick with me right first things first i did get this for my birthday i will show this again in my birthday haul so i'm just going to pass this on quickly we'll come back to it at the end so i got this davidoff cool water sea rose i have smelt it and i'm not too sure about the scent um and i'll, I'll talk about that in a bit but um it's nice but it's not what i expected in a scent so i grabbed that guys i think this was something around maybe 15 to 14 pound i can't quite remember where i got it from but i will link it down below for you guys so you can go and have a look it might have been one of the perfume shops that i've seen online so i grabbed that also for my birthday with money that i've got i picked up the jimmy choo fever now way back when i did feel unique um samples i did get the fever sample and i must have got it about three times i loved it that much i ordered it last christmas and it never arrived and i ended up trying to get my money back from paypal it was an ebay purchase and i've not bought it since until now so this came this morning um i haven't opened it guys i've completely waited to do it with you guys <coughs> bit of fog in my throat. i've got a cup of tea behind me so if i just turn around and grab it you know that i'm getting thirsty right I can already smell it. Now, when I opened that box, I couldn't smell the perfume, but I'm smelling this and I've not even got it out yet. Ah, it smells amazing. Now, guys, I only got the small bottle for now, which is a, I think it's a 30ml Ed. Is it a 30ml edit? Yeah, I think it is. So, I only got the 30ml edit, which is tiny, guys, but this was £24. Or is it £21? £21 for this small bottle. And they were like, bloody hell big bottle was something like £60. Now I have said if this is as nice as the little vial bottles and it still has that same feeling on me, I will grab a big bottle of this. My favourite perfume is actually Dolce & Gabbana. Um, I do have a lot of perfumes hidden away and hidden here. If you want to see a perfume haul, just let me know. It's not something I really do on my channel, but if you want to see that, some of you or none of you, let me know. So this is that small baby, baby bottle. But let's have a let's have a whiff because 
I've not put any perfume on today because I've been wanting to open this and try it. I'm just going to let that settle for a bit. Um, the box is really, really nice. It's like a snake skin kind of design, but it's tiny. I think I will keep that on my worktop, to be honest, on my dresser. So that was that, guys. So that was my second bottle of perfume. I then went ahead and bought some good old um, perfumes way back in the day when I was like 15, 14 and 15 years old buying perfume. That is amazing. I really do love that smell. I have explained before in one of my videos this kind of scent it's kind of a strong i'd say musky but not like a really strong choky musky it's more of a sweet musk than a, a strong musk happy delivery so this was a bog off deal it was buy one get one free and i think it was 18 pound and i was like I haven't smelt this for years. I used to buy this and this is the SO. I do buy all the SO deodorant sprays and I have got a bottle of the body mist. I do still love that. I probably will go ahead and buy a bottle of the SO perfume to add with this um, retro collection. So when I sprayed this guys, I'm not gonna spray it now because I've got my fever on. But when I sprayed this the other day, um, it just didn't smell the way I remembered it. I just don't know why. It just doesn't smell like how I remembered it. But I suppose as you get older, your your senses or whatever changes. It is still nice. I still love it. It still has that uh, smell, but it just smells slightly different to what I remember. So I got two of them, guys. I think these were the 50 ml edition. So that Jimmy Choo definitely must be a 30 ml edition. This one, I think, is um, 100 ml. I haven't took it out for you to have a look at. Let me just grab it and see. So this is, I was a little bit taken back guys when I did open it, cause I was like ripped off a little bit by the rest of it. What do you guys think? Do you think that that should have been at the top or? Cause I've not used this guys. When I opened it, that's just as it was. I sprayed it once, I think on my hand. I'm just gonna spray it here and just leave that. And we're gonna come back to these scents in a bit and I'll tell you what I think of all the different scents. But I know which one's a clear winner at the minute. So that was that, guys. I'll move on to the last bottle of perfume because, you know, it might as well. So I have had... I did order from Debenhams, guys. Let me get the other item if I can find it. Yes. So I did order from Debenhams. I've never ordered from Debenhams before. I know it's closing down. So I knew that, you know, it was a risk. Nobody's ever told me that, you know, buying these, that wasn't actually from Debenhams. No, it wasn't. So I'll do that. They'll do that later. This was actually from Boots, guys. But Debenhams did have it at one point. I went back to get it and it's gone. But this was from Boots, guys. I did buy quite a lot from Boots. I will try and go in and order. I've kind of got a bit scatty now. But I got this from Boots. It was £18. And as you can see, it is the mascara, which we'll discuss about Debenhams when I get to it. So it's the Go Big or Go Home Volumizing Mascara. It's the full size one. And this is this Saint Two de Parfum, which is the Cat Von D set. I have smelt it. I do love it. I do love the packaging for this as well. It's go big, go home. So this must be still Cat Von D, as now it's KVD, as we know. I've always wanted to try K um, Cat Von D makeup, and I've seen so many people Kirsty making it up. I went. I first started watching Kirsty do it. She did a Kat Von D tryout because she was like me, she was dying to try it. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I really want to try it. And then obviously I've seen like I shared the Moon of Stars when she got the, the red eyeshadow from there. And I think she got the perfume. I think she got the black perfume. I think she's got the black one. And I was just so envious because I was like, I just want to try it. But it's always been what I'd call the high end of makeup and I always try to keep at the low end of makeup because, well, you know, I just don't want to pay that kind of money for makeup. I'm alternative. My clothing's already expensive enough and homeware and everything else and footwear. So to have expensive makeup as well, it's a little bit too, too extreme, too much. But this was all on special offer, obviously, because there's no such thing as Kat Von D now. It's KVD. So, guys, let me just pull it out and have a look. So I have smelt the perfume. I did take it out the other day. I might as well take it out of the packaging now anyway. As you can see, it's exactly the same size as the Jimmy Choo. I kind of like these little bottles. So it's a 30ml as well. 
um, it's got the KBD sign it's got this white really nice gothic oh I never noticed before there's little skulls on the lid oh, that's so cute if you guys know where I can get the black one pop a comment on below yeah I've got let me spray it I'm trying to think where I can spray this somewhere different let me spray that there and just let that settle I don't want to waste too much of it so that was that guys 18 pounds so I got the perfume and then obviously I got the mascara I've, I've heard some mixed reviews about the mascara to be honest with you guys some people have said it's worth the money some people have said it's not that not that good it is quite a big um packaging I like the packaging if I never used this I'd still keep the packaging so it has mascara Kat Von D on the lid um, go big or go, go home so it has no foul, no foul smell or anything. It's quite a nice brush that. I think I might be all right with that. I'm really funny about the applications on mascaras. I'm really, really fussy. But I kind of like the look of that. I've already got mascara on. We'll use this in a video that we're going to do some testing on, guys. But I'm happy with that for £18. I think this is £20 on its own in Debenhams. And I think this would have been probably around 30 mark. So I think I got a bargain for that price. Right, I'll quickly show you these and get them off the thing. Ben just picked up these from Asda's. He just got a Vaseline Essential Healing Body Lotion. I love body lotions. I know some people don't bother with it, but if I have a bath or a shower, you can guarantee when I get out, I will douse myself in body lotion. I used to use a cellulite cream as well. I've run out of that. I may have to grab another one. Not that I ever really noticed it made a difference, to be honest with you. Zach does like body lotion, but Zach's very sensitive to certain creams. I've been putting the M&S um, sleep therapy on his skin, and I did notice last night he's broke out in a rash, so not to put that on him again. But it knocked him out, so I might try... Um, that is it this works i might try that on him and see if that is don't know how much that worth i think he said it was a special offer it was two for three pound or something or two for four but he did actually buy me this sos hair repair and this is the andrew barton london it says it's infused with miracle working moroccan uh, moroccan argan oil and rich shea butter and it's for dry damaged and fragile hair so guys i don't color my actual hair i only color my roots red as you know um, I've not had my hair cut for two years, so it is really, really damaged, really, really gritty. I don't straighten it half as much as I used to, but I'm I'm all for these hair treatments, guys. So when he picked me up this, I was really, really happy. He has picked me up some more goods. I will do that in another video because I want to introduce this new shop that I was introduced by a friend. So, so that was that, guys. I don't know how much it was, but I know that there was a deal for them too. Now. I also picked up this Sanex, it's just a 0% fragrance, I tend to get this for Zach mainly, it irritates Ben even though it's 0% and I use it for myself as well and it's for sensitive skin and it's a shower gel and this was a pound. Bargain! Alright, we're moving on to the, the more um, difficult kind of things, right, let's get on to this. There was a palette guys, there was a Laura Geller palette that I got. Um, I was so gutted. It came, guys, and one of the pans was completely smashed, but it had it had leaked all over the other um, pans, and it kind of, because it was so creamy, it, it ruined the whole packaging, and I wasn't about to pay £24 for something. They wasn't willing to... Um, they was going to refund me, but I'd have to send it back. But they offered me a 10% off, and I was like, 10% for a broken palette? Nah, have it back. So I sent it back. I did have a Bloom perfume set as well, rose gold set. It had nail varnish, it had concealer and it had lipstick and it was only £9.50. But the perfume nozzle wasn't working and when I did smell the perfume it wasn't to my liking anyway. So I did send that back. I did have a look at the other things. The lipstick wasn't my colour either. So really um, it was best to get my money back. But I did pick up this. This came at a different time than the palette, but this luckily was in one piece. Now, Aisha the Moon and Stars recommended this. I know that I go to her for a lot of recommendations when it comes to like powders. I'm not one for putting powders on my face, guys. I always do a moisturiser or a primer, and then I'll do my, con my foundation and concealer. I've never really bothered with powders. I used to do, but then it, it started getting all cloggy and I just didn't like it. Now, I know that the Laura Mercier is really, really good, and I will will try that 
this year sometime but I did ask her what would the a, a more affordable but not too cheap brand I could use and she did recommend the Laura Geller so packaging is just a pretty basic packaging but as you open it up inside I got the fur guys because I, I do wear a lot of fur like foundation and stuff so it is quite nice I have swatched it already it feels amazing and I mean really amazing on your skin it's just so soft and it blends in beautifully I mean let's look at that it's a really nice colour. It is actually whiter than my actual skin tone. But I kind of, at the minute I've got a really warm tone um, foundation on. I can't remember what I'm using. I'll grab it at the end if I can remember. But it's really, really good. Very, very expensive. So I'm not too sure if I'll buy the big. It was a tester from Feel Unique actually. Let me see if I can just grab it for you guys. Oh, it's the Lancome. Yeah, so it's the Lancome tester that I got a while ago. And I've only just used it really really good guys but it is a little bit on the darker side than my usual colour but this guys was I think I paid £18 for this usually I don't like to go that much on powders and stuff but she swears by it and from what I can see it looks pretty good I've not got it on because I've not tried it yet but I will start using this I will do a whole video testing what I've got out maybe a whole look I don't know if we'll see so that was that guys so let's move on to some other items i'm going to get well confused here guys so just bear with me um i'm just going to grab this because i did an order from feel unique and i haven't ordered from feel unique for a whole 12 months if not longer so i was oh before i do dove i swear by this deodorant guys <sighs> love it it's the cream it's the cream deodorant so we just pop it up pop it out I'm going to need to use it anyway if I know it lasts me about five months this guys it's brilliant this is the original Dove as you know I'm a Dove girl absolutely love Dove I use more Dove than anything Dove, Nivea and um, Vaseline anything like that I absolutely love just traditional things that you know we've always used but this is the best I don't like using sprays or aerosols under my arms it irritates me it burns this is the best thing right so feel unique i ordered one two three four things on there and i really wanted to get this one thing from there and that's why i put that order in let's see if i can find it right so four things for feel unique i have opened it and thrown the box away guys so let me just refer to this so the huda beauty obsessions precious stones eyeshadow palette in ruby it's a 10 gram I paid £21.25, it was on sale, it's normally £25. I was expecting it to be a bit bigger guys, I will admit, but I'm not I'm not bothered because from what I've been told from Aisha, it's really, really good. I don't know if I've seen anybody else use the Huda palette. I don't know if I've seen Charmed Wench use it before, but I've been wanting it for the longest time. So it is quite small and it's the Huda Beauty Ruby Obsessions palette and it's magnetic guys which fantastic but upon opening it if it'll let me it's got a mirror there first size mirror and then here are your shades <gasps> just love them shades i just thought oh oh my god when i seen um other people like review this and stuff and i was like oh i need to try that i need to try that i do want the purple i do want the green so we'll see we'll see i've still got a lot of birthday money to get through and i don't want to spend all my birthday money on beauty because i feel like i'm going backwards uh 12 months ago but i i kind of just want to get palettes that i know i'm going to use this time as the two years ago i was just buying palettes because everybody had it now i just want to buy to suit me so i absolutely love this i will probably try and do a swatch if not we'll come back and i'll do a swatching video on all the palettes on a different video if you want to see that let me know so that was that one guys um what else did i get oh the ordinary yeah i've got the ordinary foundation let me just go and grab it i'll be out of video for a minute while i grab it let me just see how long we've been doing it here we go it's gonna be a long video guys if you want to pause get yourself a cup of tea coffee wine pop go do so right so i have got the ordinary um foundation maybe either a tone lighter or a little tone darker absolutely love it so that was my foundation so i decided to grab 
the primer guys because I've never tried any of the the beauty products you know like the face creams or oh that's cold mm. that's cold it's gonna have to go in my crib so I got the high spreadability fluid primer now I absolutely loved it, it was a smashbox one I loved it absolutely loved it so I really wanted to try um, this because I've been told it's very much like that I have got my glasses off so I want to read it let me just see I think it's got a pipette on it it says spreadable enhancing lightweight surface smoother and primer it's a 30 mil this was super cheap guys uh, let's have a look the ordinary high spreadability fluid primer £5.50 guys and I thought that was a bargain yeah it's a pipette one I've got one from Revolution which is a serum I can't use serums I don't know what it is about them they just burn my skin and make my skin break out so I avoid serums but this is a primer they did have a serum in it and I was like Ugh. as you can see it's just on a pipette let me just oh it looks very dewy let's have a look oh, that feels really nice I don't think there's a scent because obviously the, the perfume's on me so it's I think it's that that I'm smelling but that feels amazing it's very very silky I can feel it on my hands it's very silky to touch so I'm chuffed about that so I got that as part of my I need some some stuff I've run out of primer guys I will hold my hands up I've run out of primer completely I've just been using my Elemis moisturizer but I really want to get a primer so I was intentionally to buy that and then I picked up two essence items because I've seen so many of the bigger youtubers like Stephanie Toms um, who else I think it was Jolie Jolie Beauty because I, I'm into her beauty brand at the minute um, I watch the videos and they recommend a lot of the essence brands because it's cheap and cheerful and I love affordable cheap and cheerful makeup so I grabbed the essence lash princess fall Fall Slash Effect Mascara. This was £3.30. That is a bargain. And then I got the two-in-one eyeliner, which was £2.99. The mascara, I have grabbed another one in a different order. We'll do that in another video. But I was just like, for the price, I mean, look at that one. I'm more of a curved wand girl. So if I find um, a mascara that's got a curved wand, you can guarantee it'll be my best friend. But I like the look of that wand as well. And this is just the Lash Princess one. They've got all different ones in this. I like the detail on the bottle, actually. For the price, I mean, you can't beat that, guys, really. £3.30. So I got that, happy about that. And then... I really do love my Renaissance pen from Revolution, but I've noticed over the past six months, I've not been using it a lot, but and it's leaking out of the lid, like black all over my hands, and I don't know, I don't, it's put me off a little bit, but I absolutely, it's my, it's my go-to eyeliner. I've tried all the high-end ones, and none of them have really impressed me that much, but that one has. But I thought, you know what, cheap and cheerful, they seem to work. It's a felt-tip nib on that one. And then it's a thin nib on that one, which is great for doing your flicks. So it's a two-in-one essence. I'll try it out. I'll let you know what I think of it. I will do it in the video when I do some testing. It's only going to be like gothic makeup looks, guys. So I won't be just testing makeup. I'll be doing a, creating a gothic look. I can do it. I'm just been really lazy. Pains took over. So we'll get back into that. So that's all I got from Feel Unique, guys. So I was chuffed with that. Let's move on to my boo-boo, the one that I'm not very happy with. So, I made an order in Debenhams. Yeah, back to Debenhams. And I've never ordered from Debenhams before. I have gone in there before to grab things and I've never got there in time. And I've actually gone in there before to buy nail products before. So I have bought from Debenhams before, but I've never really bought beauty from there. And I've always wanted to try KVD, Kat Von D. So, I ordered three things guys as you can see there's only two here and if you follow me on Facebook you probably know that I've been a little bit ranty lately about it so on the 15th of January I made a 
purchased for three items. I'll pop a picture of the third item here because as you can see, I haven't got it. I have waited 16 days and it's still not here. So um, if I go on to my invoices, which is two here. So I bought three items. Obviously it's a closing down sale, so everything was a lot cheaper. Um, I paid 2 99 shipping for all three items in one, but they've been delivering them in separate. So this came first which is my um, Vegan Beauty KVD Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. I paid £15.30 for this one, and then I paid the standard delivery, which is £2.99, but that covered the other two items when the third item comes. And it looked purple on the screen, but in fact, opening it, it looks more like a blue colour, and I think, curse if I'm making it up, I think she may have this colour, and I did message to ask her, now it looks purple though, so I think it might be purple guys. Let me just let's give it a test. I think it's a really deep, is it a really deep indigo purple? That's purple, it's definitely purple, it's not blue. Yay! Because that's what I wanted, I wanted purple. It looked blue before. Now it has separated a little bit in the tub and I'm like, hmm, how long has it been stood there for? It doesn't smell or anything, I've got one of my nose. But I've, I've wanted to get the red one as well, but I'm not I'm not willing to go on Debenhams again after what I've just gone through with them. I just I just don't trust them as a company, even though they're closing down. But that seems good enough to me. I will create a look with that. So that was that, guys. And then the second item that came, you would have seen pictures of me putting it on. Um, I don't know how they've done this, you know. They've, they, on this, they've charged me two ninety nine, two ninety nine, and then two ninety nine. But I only paid. I'm sure I only paid two ninety nine delivery. I'm sure I did. I don't know how they've done this, but they're, they're like cutting themselves off, really. So this was fourteen pound forty five. It's the Vegan Beauty Kitten Mini Ne Pop Shade and Light. It's saying 17.44. I didn't pay three lots of postage. I do know that. I only paid one lot of postage. I paid for these to all come together. Obviously, they've all come at different times. Right. Let's see if I can get this out of the box. Now, this came, guys, with no bubble wrap, no packaging, just this on its own. I've put a slot of picture up so you can see. Just this on its own and the invoice in a big box. And I was like, how stupid. I thought, I'm going to get in this and it's going to be all smashed. That's all I kept thinking. I'm going to get in it. It's going to be smashed. So, guys, it's the very nice casing. Not as nice as the um, perfume casing and what have you and the mascara. But still, it says shade and light. And then there's a little mirror here, which is quite nice. It's got a little Kat Von D thing. And then I liked it because it has this purple in. I ha kind of like this colour. And this is more of a, a contrasting shade. And then this looks more like a highlighter. Then I don't know. No, I think that is a base colour. That is a base colour. Let's have a look at the... Oh, that's quite nice actually, guys. You won't see that base colour there. Let's try that purple. Oh, it's like a, a shimmer. Yeah, it's definitely a shimmer. I'm only doing a, a rough swatch on these guys. I'm not digging my fingers in. Because as you know, I have a bit of a pet hate of doing that. So that was that guys and I thought that was pretty reasonable and um, the other palette had sold out so I had no choice but to just get that one. But there are the colours, they look alright. I, like I like these two colours together. I like these two colours together. I reckon I could create a couple looks with that, that palette. So that was that guys. The third item which obviously is not here, I'll pop a picture up, was the mini mascara and the mini eyeliner set can't tell you because it's not written down on the thing but I think that was £14.40 and I grabbed that but it's not arrived yet guys so not much I can do about that right let's move on boots let's go back to boots so I've ordered a few things from boots at different times but I've saved them I've been really really good guys to save them I have thrown the box away for one of these items and I have got a couple of things missing I ordered from Boots and if you spent over a certain amount, I think it was spent £20 and you got this free um, Boots Beauty Edit. I got it la not last year, it might have been last year or the year before. I got it when I was doing beauty on my channel and I loved it then. And I, I didn't think I was going to get it this time because it was um, 
buy two palettes. It was three for two on Obsession, and you know I love Revolution Obsession. And it was three for two, and I thought, ooh, yeah, go on. I like, I like Obsession palettes. I've got quite a lot of Obsession palettes, apart from two that I've given away to my daughters because I just the colours weren't my colour play. So um, I did that deal, and then I used a voucher, but then it took off the amount, which was less. But it still let me have the beauty edit, so I was quite chuffed about that. So in the beauty edit came this Rimmel 8 Hour Wear um, Primer. I have tried it, it seems alright. I've never really been a massive fan of Rimmel, but I do like some of their stuff. I would say that the other primer, the Ordinary Primer, is a little bit more dewy, more creamy than this one. This one is a cream one, and that one's more of a, a silicone one. Yeah, it's nice it's like a moisturizer it has a little bit of a scent but not a bad scent a nice scent so you got that free guys you got the um great lash which is the maybelline i've got this from the last one that i'm still using it's really good mascara it's only got a really small applicator so it gets right into the bottom lashes so i do like it for that so i got that i got the sleek matte me metallic i did get sleek last time so i don't mind sleek it's not a, it's not a, a a product that i reach for that much but it was free it's like a a goldy kind of color so i may wear that for like a brown look i do and then i got this which is a revlon i've never tried revlon real i have got a few revlon lipsticks but i've never tried this kind of lipstick and i was like mm, i'm not too sure it's like a plummy colour guys, it is really, really nice. In fact, it's so goddamn creamy, let me just put it on here. It's like a beigey, not a beigey, it's like a dark brown mauve plum colour, as you can see. I like it, it's very nice on the lips, it's, it's very creamy on the lips, not very drying. Um, sometimes I'm, I'm not a fan of drying out lips, but... Something's made me change that. So I got that free. And then I got this um, Fizzable bath bomb. Um, I was told I weren't allowed bath bombs for medical reasons, but now they said that I should be all right. So I may use that sometime. So I got all that free from my beauty edit. And then I got the sachet. So I got two L'Oreal's to try, which is the anti-wrinkle sachets. Probably like similar to what you get from the Feel Unique sample service. And then I got a Revitalift um, with the SPF. And then I got a L'Oreal Paris Revitalift sachets. And then I got an Elvive No Haircut Cream. I did used to buy a lot of the Elvive um, products, um, L'Oreal, but then somebody told me they tested on animals, so I was a little bit like, mm -hmm, not too sure about that. But they all came free with that, so I was quite chuffed with that. Um, also from Boots, I got the three for two. These are the three palettes that I grabbed. So I grabbed the LA Dreams, the Kisses and the After Dark. Now I've been after the Kisses one for a long time because I really do appreciate the colours on this palette. The colour plate is really, really nice. So there's a nice big mirror on them. There always is with Revolution. And I've not touched them on nothing. So here is the red kisses. Very nice for Valentine's um, Day, this one. It's been there for a while, guys, to be honest with you. Let's see if I can rip the... There you go. So these are the colours. Oh, I'm just going to have to swatch that one. Just that one. Woo! Look at that! I mean, that. I should have swatched it on the other one, really. But let's just have a look. Oh, my Lord. It looks more of a, a dark shade of pink. But I think that would go nice if you put like laid it on top so i'm not going to swatch these now guys when i do a testing of them i will swatch them then rather than swatch them all now just because it takes forever and this video is long enough so yep i got that one which i was chuffed about and then i got the after dark because i kind of like the color play on this i like dark browns i do like a lot of dark greens dark greys darker the better so I liked this one. It's different. Um, I didn't get the cannabis one because I got the Revolution cannabis in a tin, so I didn't need to get the other one. But these are like dark greens and dark browns. I just thought the colour play was quite nice on this, actually. And I was like, ooh, kind of intrigued by that. Let me just try that green. 
I always seem to reach for the shimmers more than I reach for the the matte shades. Oh yes, I like that. Let's try this really dark matte green. Ah, that's quite nice. Let's put that here. Boom. Not the best swatch in the world. Um, I kind of like the obsessions. Sometimes it can be a little bit powdery. That's that swatch was a little bit powdery. But if you layered that on, I think it'd be all right. But look, they feel nice. They feel nice on the fingers. So that was that. So I'm right, chuffed with that. And then I got this one free because the one that I did want, they had none in stock. But I did manage to grab them on Revolution site. So as you can see, this is over the past maybe three weeks that I've been buying these things. Ugh. But I've not been buying makeup for a whole year, so grant me that much <laughs> so this is the LA dreams I'm a little bit unsure about this one it's a bit pinky a bit like bright for me blinding you um but yeah I kind of like the purple tones on these and I do like this these greens here I don't mind these pinks to be honest with you I think they would create a really nice color these three I like how they're, they're spread out. They kind of go with each other. They contrast each other really, really nice. Um, if I was to swatch any, I've only got like one finger left. Let's go for this purple, cause I like purple. Now it is a little bit chalky. Uh, you can see that is a little bit chalky. Just a little bit. And that's that one there. So it's like a cerise purpley pink. Nice, nice, it's free. I don't care, I didn't pay for it, I got it free. So, for that, there was nothing else I could have chose, guy, for my third palette. I'd already had the other palette they had there, so I thought I'm not gonna buy another one of them palettes. So that was that, guys. Um, and I also ordered um, the Ordinary Concealer, because I seen it, it come out, it was Aisha the Moon and Stars who said, have you seen that, the, um, the Ordinary have got concealer, and I said, I've just been looking at it, which is just kind of weird. Something popped up on my, my post about it. So I did pick up a concealer. So it's the first time I've had an Ordinary concealer because they never used to do it. I've gone for a really, really light shade, guys. I can't quite remember what shade I went for. I went for 1.1N and it's fair neutral. This was mega cheap, guys. I think I only paid something like £3.20 for this. But as you know, the, the foundation is not that is not that expensive either. So I'm, I'm willing to give it a try and if I like it, it may be my favourite concealer that I just go and get all the time. So that was next to nothing, guys. So I was chuffed about that. Um, and then I bought the, the NYX eyeliner because obviously I'm running out of eyeliners now. It's been a whole year. A lot of them have dried up that I did use and test through my days of... Um, being a beauty YouTuber. So it's in this really nice pink casing. I've never tried a NYX eye product before, like liner, I've tried the, the, firm, the eyeshadows. So it's just a really thin nib. I think it's quite nice. I think I'll enjoy that. I think I'll, I think I'll be all right with that. Um, I'm gonna take it out of the packaging now. I think if I was to choose between these two, I think NYX may, may just beat it on the pole. So let's just have a quick look at how this one fared. Oh, oh, well. Mm. All right, I take it back. I think Essence might be within it there. So that's that guy. Go, oh, I've got so much makeup. And then I seen the lovely Backbones, um, Paige Toddington. She did a Q and A on her channel, and I noticed she had a palette in her hand, and I was trying to have a look to see what she had because I liked the colour she was putting on, and I noticed it was an Obsession palette. And I tried looking for it and I couldn't find it anywhere. And I thought it must be something that she's had a while ago, like an old palette and she's just using it. But I was just so curious. Ugh, I can't get in it. I was just curious to what it was. Now they did this in a yellow and I really liked the yellow. I did try and get the yellow, but it was sold out. But I ended up getting the Squeeze Me. It's probably a little bit smaller than the Huda Beauty in size, as you can see. Big difference, five pound. £25 usually, so £20 more for this, but obviously the pigment's going to be a lot better on that. So squeeze me, tiny little mirror and a tiny, tiny, tiny little pounds. I'm, I'm sure this is the one that that page was using. Oh, I can't get the film off. 
Why do you have to sell tape everything down? There you go. Take that off. Ooh, it's all glue all over it. So it's got a tiny little mirror. These are more like an orangey shade. As if you can see there. Still quite nice. So you've got a nine pan, nine small pans. Um, I haven't got any fingers to swatch here. Let's try this one. Let's try this shimmer here because, oh, wow. That is, oh, okay. All right, let's try a matte. A little bit powdery. Oh, that's quite nice. They're quite nice. I like that, yeah. So for five pound, I was quite happy with that. And that was what I got from Boots, guys. That was it from Boots. Um, I also picked up this um, before Christmas, guys. I bought all of the, what was it called? The Model Zone. I bought a whole set of the Model Zone, but I hated every single colour of it. So I got rid of them all. <laughs> and then I just kept uh, a few things like the concealer and stuff. And I kept this lip gloss and it says um, Gloss Shock. I've not opened it or anything. I wasn't going to open it, but I thought, Do you know what? It might be really nice over a, a matte red, you know, if it's too dry. Let's take that out. Right, so let's have a look. I've never tried models on like makeup, but I have tried the nail polishes. It looks all right, it's like a berry red. Let's see if I can swatch it next to that purple. Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, that's quite nice actually. That's, that's quite nice. I'm just about that, I only paid a pound for that guys. Look at that, that's quite nice. Right, moving on guys, because otherwise we're never going to get through all this. Um, I bought, I'll go through this last. Then I went to Beauty Bay guys and I grabbed, that was my box from Revolution by the way guys. I grabbed the Equalizer Sample Beauty Palette. Why not? I've been eyeing, I've been eyeing Sample Beauty up for about seven months now and I've been like, him and Ari, shall I, shall I, shall I, shall I. They had a blue and purple palette and I loved it. And it sold out now. But when I spotted this, when I was just having a, a browse through, you know, you're bored at night and you just thought, I haven't looked at makeup for 12 months, let's go and have a look. And I had a look and I spotted this and I was like, I'm having that, I've got to have that. And it was, it was on sale guys, so I only paid like 15 pounds for this. And this is the palette. What a nice color play these are. Obviously for me, black and purple these greens are really nice i like this orange i like i like the fact that they they coincide with each other so you've got rubber duck vitamin c queen of hearts bubble gum adam and eve gin and tonic and then here you've got tequila tequila lime grasshopper bluebell Jibber Jabber, Focus Pocus, Thunder and Lightning, and then here you've got Cup of Tea, Touch Base, and Cocoa Beam. <laughs> I like it. I know there's another palette of this. I think this is the second. This is the first one. <coughs> they have got an Equalizer 2 palette, and that looks nice as well. Um, I like the fact that there's a red in this as well. I like the look of this palette, guys. I, where do I go as far as swatching? Let's let's be daring. I'm not a pink girl. Let's go for this pink. Just just to, oh my lord, bit of fallout from that, guys. As you can see, I've not really digged my my finger in. But let's have a. Oh yeah, but but look at that. The payoff is amazing. Oh, I'm running out of fingers here, guys. Uh, let's try a shimmer. Let's try a shimmer. Which shimmer should we try? Shimmer, shimmer. Let's try this. Should we try the orange? Let's try orange. Ooh, that is lovely. Oh, my Lord. Oh, I just... Colour me beautiful. I love this palette. I can't wait to try it. I will try these palettes, guys. I promise. I've still got my VE Cosmetics to do i know terrible but that was my sample beauty guys it was 15 pound and then i bought another jeffree stars i won't open this because i've already got one here i didn't realize i'd already got one flora bollum 
gifted me this with the show, the show story I think it was palette which I still haven't tried so it was on sale for something like eight pound nine pounds so I just grabbed it but I've already got it as you can see it's the cherry I think it's the cherry red yeah I love this lipstick it's probably one of my oh my god I've smudged all that look at that it's probably one of my go-to lipsticks for red I use it quite a lot um so I'm glad that I've got a backup now put that there so that's that guys moving on I also picked up two more palettes from revolution these were five pound each and I thought that's the palette I wanted and the three for two in boots so I thought I'll get that I might as well grab the other one for a fiver well worth the money I think I'm smudging this lipstick all over my clothing guys um let's just I have opened these guys because I have opened them and had a look at them all I've got so much glue on my fingers right let's pull it out so this one is spiritual stars it just shouted oh yeah i like the thought of that and i love the whole the whole names and everything on this so let me take the plastic off put that there get my glasses on and read it out so it says stars energy positivity elements nature gentle chakra harmony travel ambitious focus embrace zen mindfulness horizons and inspire the colour play guys don't you think that's beautiful i thought that's a really nice palette um i think i she was trying to get her hands on this one as well so i think she's waiting to see what it looked like really nice i'm not going to swatch it guys because i've got no more room to swatch any more colors but you want to see some looks with these palettes i could test each palette until we have finished all the palettes it's not going to be easy because you know i don't really have a lot of time but I will do it if you guys want it if you don't then that's fine i won't do it so this is the i think it says the ruddy ruddy dark or something i love these colors dark and grungy again i love them um i don't know if this is just a collaboration with another beauty but look at them <gasps> so these have got like really dark beigey brown and gold and like really dark dark mystifying colors i like this 16 pounds these are guys five pound they're usually 10 pound guys so really it's not that bad even if you're paying full price for them i pay full price for them but they were five pound i thought <laughs> i'm just gonna grab two i didn't have a lot of money left i just thought i've got like 15 pound left i could have got a third palette but then there's portage and packaging so that was that guys so i got five obsession palettes one kvd palette another obsession palette and a huda beauty palette and i got the sample beauty palette i did have the the laura geller one obviously i sent it back i got my money back for it now last but not least jolly beauty so these just popped up on my news feed and i think it was my instagram news feed and it just said these uh, matte lipsticks and i was curious to know what they were what they're all about so i just had a look and they were on sale for five pound fifty and i thought oh she's got some really nice dark gothic colors there so i ordered at first guys let me just get this right now oh color blind as well right so i grabbed this one and i grabbed this one so i grabbed um a black and a red so then i went on to her page and i had a look at her swatches and stuff and i was like i kind of like them so this is what it looks like guys so it looks like your regular kind of like lip gloss but this is actually an urn matte lipstick they're usually 11 pound guys did tell jane wilkes about these and she grabbed a purple and a blue which i've also grabbed sorry if you hear that screaming he's having a moment but that is the red guys it's a really nice red i've already tried it on before and people have commented on it five pound fifty it dries super fast guys and when i say it dries i mean it, it dries and it dries in a very nice way it's not too dry in that you're like oh it goes all bitty and stuff on your lips i hate that revolution lacquer lipstick used to do that and i never really liked it because of that reason i tend to always put a lip gloss on top of a matte lipstick but i've not done that with these because they're just so nice you just can't tell you've got any products on your lips guys so that's the black 
So then I got them two guys and then I was so impressed with them two, I ordered three more, which Ben got me as part of my, my birthday present and they were still £5.50 so I jumped on it quick before they went back up to the £11 price. I think Jane grabbed two just before, I think it was maybe about two days after they went back up to the original price. The other colours were more like pinks and really light shades so I kind of got all the colours that I wanted to get out of them. So here's the blue. I don't know what my son's listening to. And then here's the purple. If you want to know what the purple looks like now, go over to Jane Wilkes' page. I will pop her details down below. I will also pop the moon and stars and Kirsty making it up down below as well. So you can go and check them out. I don't need to shout out Jolie Beauty and Stephanie Toms because you should all know who they are. <laughs> right, and then I got a mock of brown because I do, I do like a lot of brown looks, guys. So I got a brown. I've not tried this one yet, but it looks super duper. So there are the looks. So you can see that's the colours, and they dry down super super fast, guys. Now I hope I can get these off my hand. Now you know what? Usually with like the Jeffree Star when it dries in it's not the easiest to get off your lips I know somebody told me how to get it off and I can't remember who told me or what it was but the Jolly Beauty comes off a lot easier you're not having to rub so much but I absolutely love all of this really really chuffed with my makeup haul but it's not the end guys <laughs> it's not the end um my husband did do me another order of some stuff um, from a site that we've never heard of before recommended by my friend Bexy. So that's coming up guys very very soon It'll probably be the last of my beauty then for this year So if you want to see any of these being tested comment below let me know I'll get that done sometime in the future and um, Yeah, I look very very pretty. <laughs> so that is it guys. That is my makeup haul so far Join me next month to see what else I got. The, the other stuff should be here this week, actually, not this week, next week. So I may get it filmed next week and put it on in February, then you're not getting too much beauty in one go. All right, guys, take care. Pop your comments down below. Let me know which product you've tried, if any, which you'd like to see being swatched and tested. And let's just quickly. All I can smell at the minute is the fever. It's, it's kind of overpowering the others. I would say the weakest out of all of them is probably the exclamation mark and then the cool waters and then I'd say the Jimmy Choo and the Kat Von D are probably on the same kind of level of strength and smells. Now I have worn the exclamation and the cool waters overnight next morning i think cool waters i could still smell it a little bit but i couldn't smell the exclamation so i think the higher you pay for your perfume the stronger the, the scent anyway take care and i'll see you in the next one guys i hope this setting was all right for you and it's now night time dying for that tea see you in the next one bye for now Ugh.
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and hit that like button if you like this video, because it helps me out and my channel. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.